you said this and Charles Barkley agreed, but you believe that all the changes in college football, NIL, the portal, and even maybe even so into the media has chased away the goat of college football. Yeah. Why do you feel that way? Um, mainly because I know him and I know his heart right. and I know he loves this game. But when you're sitting there watching how this thing plays out and you're watching the obstacles you got to go through and you're seeing, right. you're dealing with parents that are parents slash agents, uh, homie <laughs> yeah. slash the bag man. You're dealing with so mm-hmm. much craziness and I, I get it. So I know he's getting at a whole nother level because I get it when I'm meeting with parents and, and these young men, old school guys that, that, were built and built their lives on hard work, dedication, and trying to treat people right. They don't see that formula working, but it still does, but they don't have the time. I mean, Coach has has done some tremendous things in our game. Coach is, is financially secure times 20. It's like, man, I don't need this. I don't need this. I ain't got time to be a darn lineman on the open market right now is at least half a million. I don't need it. Like, like, <laughs> right. like he, I, I know right. he don't like, I ain't, uh-uh, I want you to play because I want you to get compensated, but play first because you love it. Not the first thing right. to come out your mouth is, is the bag. And he's just right. different. He's built different. I'm built different. You know, but I have right. young kids pretty much. So <laughs> I can kind of relate to the times in the game. And you know how we deal with right. our kids. Like, we we in it. We in it. Mm-hmm. We, we real dads. We ain't no distant oh, yeah. father. We <laughs> real dads. We, we in, in, it. We I, in I the trenches with affected. them. Yeah, I know when you're affected. I know when somebody's bothering you. So we're the, those type of parents. But, man, I, I just I hope we do something with Aflac again because I like to glean from him every year. I like to call him and ask his advice on certain things. Um, okay. It's one thing that he told me that I should have done, that I didn't do, and it cost me. Okay. What was that? I can't tell you what it is. I, I got to give you the suspense <laughs> the drama of it. But <laughs> I told him the situation. I told him what transpired. And he told me how he handled that before and how I should have handled it. And I didn't. Because okay. I'm just different. I should have listened. but the ridicule and the scrutiny to me as an African-American coach is tenfold. Right. And I got to think of all this here. That's a good man. I love him. And his wife, the teacher class of all coaches, wives, girlfriends, whatever, she should teach a class on how to handle the stage. And she's not behind him. She's right there with him. And you talking about a commitment to excellence. Wow. What would you say? Um, your relationship with Coach Saban is you kind of described it a little bit there, and and then what's the? No one gets to see the fun side of He's Coach. Like even when I'm in a production meeting, when I'm in a production meeting with him, I, I got a chance to call his game this year against South uh, South Florida, and he's an intense guy. Yeah. But I know there's a fun side to mm-hmm. him. Do you have any funny stories with him or, or about him that you share? I don't have funny stories, but like when we're sitting on set. And we're looking at the lines that's coming up. And then he has to project to project his lines. And they may be a little different. <laughs> I said, give me that. I'll take that. You take this one. Let's do it this okay. way. Like, Coach, how would you do it if you was Coach? I would just say it. Let's say it. Let's do it. We're going to change the whole script right now. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Coach is going to say this. We're going to say that. That's what we do. And that's why right. they come off well. And uh, I, it's been a pleasure working with him because those are two days I get to glean from the greatest. Man. Yeah, I get to sit at his feet and say, hey, tell me about this, Coach. Uh, what happened with this? Oh, tell me about this. Uh, how do you choose this? Uh, uh, tell me about your practice schedule. I mean, I get to go through all of that with him. Those commercials are great, and uh, you can never take for granted the opportunity to learn from the great ones. So I'm, yeah. I'm glad that you're uh, clearly taking advantage of that. But then when you look at this from a, a holistic standpoint, the goat of college football is gone in the, from the coaching ranks. Now Shadur's out there recruiting Alabama players, and I want to know what's your pitch? What's your pitch to those Bama players who are thinking about going to the portal? How are you going to get them to come to Colorado? I text him, man, you crazy. 
That's what I texted him when I saw this, this tweet. I was at the crib in Texas. And I saw that. I said, man, you crazy. He said, Dad, we got to win, man. We got to win. I mean, that's that's what that's he's true. on. But you're talking about probably our best recruiter is Shadow and Travis. Like, kids want to play with them. They want to get down with them. That's why uh, the whole offensive line has, has been changed. The, the whole receiving core, I'm not changed, but enhanced tremendously. And so I can't wait to see right. um, them even get down and get ready and prepared in this offseason. I think they started working out uh, like an hour ago. It's going to be phenomenal, man. So it's uh, it's it's something. It's a lot of movement, but it's a price tag with everything right. nowadays. It ain't just a kid, man. It, it ain't just – Man, the DB jumped in the portal. They need to just jump in the portal with what they cost. It's just pick it easy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, 100,000 here, 50,000 here, 500,000 here. 50? 50? Oh, 50, my gosh. 50, 50 get your walk on these days. <laughs> <laughs> they paying like that, Coach Brown. No, no. I ain't never oh seen that like it, man. God bless their soul. That's unbelievable. I, I, I'm happy for the young man. RG3 and the Ones is presented by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season. We're making bank, people. It's as simple as this. You need to select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. Boom. Daily fantasy sports is made easy with Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash RG3 and use code RG3 for a first deposit match of up to $100. It's a lot of money, y'all. 